We're here to recap the Monday Night Football game between the New York Jets and the Indianapolis Colts. And this ends what was a horrible week of pick'em games for me. This is the worst week I've ever had in my lifetime. I don't even want to tell you what my record was, but it's because of games like this where teams that we believe to be good aren't. I mean, that's what my conclusion has to be at the end of this game. Now, we can't overreact too much because we're still in the infancy of this NFL season. The Colts are 0-2, and they lost to two teams that they should be better than. Now, they lost last week to the Bills in Buffalo, and I'm like, okay, sure, it's in Buffalo. Got a little ant antsy week one. Fine. You're hosting the New York Jets now. That went 4-12 and last season. Could have been 3-13 and easily. This is a team you need to beat in Indianapolis. Andrew Luck, I keep hearing, is a top 5 quarterback. This is a team that he should just wallop easily. Get out of my face. Move on to the next one, right? Well, this proved not to be the case as the New York Jets had their way with the Indianapolis Colts today through a lot of mistakes by the Indianapolis Colts, specifically Andrew Luck and their offensive line to somewhat of a degree. But look, Andrew Luck did not play well. And this is why Andrew Luck is not one of my top five quarterbacks. I wasn't able to release my top ten quarterback list before the season, but it will be uploaded after the season. And Andrew Luck, unless if he really improves, is not going to be on that list. Why? He's too turnover prone. Three interceptions today. He had a couple last week as well. When you're looking at Aaron Rodgers, for example, who obviously is a top five quarterback, this is nothing I see from him. I can't remember the last time Rodgers had a three interception game. He may have had one against the Bills last season, but I believe that was two, not three. But Luck does this consistently. Consistently, he turns the ball over three, four times. Did in the AFC Championship game last January. Does it consistently. And I'm so sick of the excuses. Oh, it's his offensive line. Andrew Luck was sacked 26 times last season. I think his offensive line is pretty good. They have Anthony Costanza, the left tackle, who's a shutdown tackle. They did have Gosler chairless, but they released him. And now they're pretty much regretting that. Uh, but the offensive line is a great no. There are issues there, but Andrew Luck didn't play well. He forced passes uh, to Darrell Reeves. It's his side of all people. He has plenty of wide receivers to his arsenal. And T.Y. Hilton, Andre Johnson, Dante Moncrief, Philip Dorsett, Dwayne Allen, and Kobe Fleener. He has to do better than this. Now, yes, let's give some credit to New York Jets, specifically their secondary. Again, Darrell Reeves played well. Buster Screen played all right. I mean, he did have some nice pass breakups, but he did allow some completions as well. The New York Jets defensive line, I mean, did they play that good? Because, I mean, yes, they did get pressure. I thought it was more linebackers than defensive linemen, though. I mean, Leonard Williams had a nice breakup here. Mohamed Wilkinson had a nice play there. But I don't think it was the defensive line that was dominating the Indianapolis Colts. I just think it was the linebackers, specifically like David Harris or Demario Davis, that would go around the outside. Quinn Copel's got some pressure as well. It disturbed Andrew Luck. But you have to complete balls under pressure in this league. I mean, this is something you have to do. I mean, I'm not sure if any of you guys look at Pro Football Focus and the grades they put out. Aaron Rodgers, two left tackles, and David Bakhtiari, uh, David Bakhtiari and the right tackle that was filling in for Brian Bulaga uh, this week, they were horrible. And yet Andrew, or and, st and still Aaron Rodgers, excuse me, won the game soundly against the Seattle Seahawks. You're going to face bad pressure. It's how you respond. Andrew Luck did not respond today. I'm being very critical of him, but he deserves it. I mean, this was a bad performance from a team that continues to underwhelm, I guess. Um, and, and this is the end um, of, of Chuck Pagano. He's done. Uh, unless the Colts can put together a Super Bowl. He's not going to be fired now. Um, but this is just more ammunition for Ryan Grigson to pull the trigger. Because it sounds like it's more of his, uh, his decision than the owner. Um, because uh, as you all know, I'm sure, Chuck Pagano is on the hot seat. Why? I don't understand. Because I blame Ryan Grigson for the lack of success on the Indianapolis Colts. More than I do Chuck Pagano. But with that said, 
This was a bad game for Chuck Pagano. His offense was not prepared for what the Jets had to dial up today. And some of the blame has to be on him and Pep Hamilton, who was supposed to be this genius offensively. Why is Andrew Luck? And maybe I won't blame him too much anymore. I mean, this is a, a great talent that you have in front of you, and he's struggling like this. I have to start looking at the offensive coordinator. How can you not do well with Andrew freaking Luck lining up behind you? You had two touchdowns and pretty much garbage time last week. You had one touchdown in this game this week. I mean, come on. This is horrible. Frank Gore and Andre Johnson. You had these two old nincompoops in free agency. Ryan Grigson, I'm looking at you. Who cares? These two men were on the University of Miami in 2004. Like, I mean, who cares about these two clowns? And Frank Gore had a horrible fumble today when it appeared as if the Colts could have made a comeback. Andre Johnson was pretty much invisible for most of the game. The uh, best wide receiver for the Colts today was Dante Moncrief, the second-year man out of Ole Miss. Andre Johnson, where is he? Um, so there are some issues on this Indianapolis Colts team. I still think they'll make the playoffs. I still think they'll win the AFC South. But listen to me now. If the Colts lose next week against the AFC South, I will be, or, I mean, against the Tennessee Titans in the AFC South, I will begin to rethink my predictions. You can bet your money on that. And as for the New York Jets, maybe it's time. It's week two. Next week they're facing the... Philadelphia Eagles, and then the week after that, the Miami Dolphins. If you guys can go, and, and the next week after that, you face the Redskins. If you can win two out of those three games, let's have a conversation about you being a playoff team. But until then, I'll keep my mouth shut. Until next time, James Carter TV, I'm out. Peace.